What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video we're looking at twin motion, specifically starting a project, getting your feet a little wet with twin motion itself, but specifically looking at the twin motion direct link from Revit. This will allow you to constantly keep your twin motion model aligned and synced exactly with your Revit model. I will say before we jump right into it, if you do enjoy this video and you do happen to learn something, please demolish that like button. It really helps me a lot. So let's get right into it. I'm in a basic project. I just threw this house together. It's on some water. I don't have any materials applied, nothing like that. Nothing really we need to worry about because we're going to look at the direct link and how we, how our updates in Revit are tracked and synced with twin motion. So first I need to start twin motion. So I'll hit C in twin motion and you'll get this direct link that pops up. And then this will immediately prompt Twin Motion 2020 to start. And at this point, it's, it's a direct link here and it's asking me, is this an existing project or is this a new project? We're gonna go through this in this video, but because I don't have any project made regarding Twin Motion, I'm gonna make a new project and I'll hit okay. It's gonna prompt you to choose the navigation mode if you're familiar with Twin Motion or Inkscape, these controls are the exact same. If you want to use Revit the controls, that's great. If you're using this in a different program, that works as well. I'm gonna stick with Twin Motion because I'm familiar with the navigation, and I'll, I'll still continue to show this on startup, not a big deal. So as soon as I close that, the synchronization begins, and I can see that my project is over here. Where is my house? There's my house. So I've got this nice background that's just by default and I've got my house here. So I am not gonna go to the trouble of making this look pretty, at least in this video. What I am going to do is begin to make updates in Revit so that you can see as you make those updates in your model throughout the design process, how that is translated back into twin motion. So what I wanna do now, just because it's a new project, I want to go to file and save as. And this is going to be a brand new twin motion project. I'm actually going to save this in the video folder that I'm making. So let's go ahead and call this direct link. So this is my project. It's saving. Perfect. Great. So at this point now, all I need to do is go back into Revit and start making my changes. So, and if you go back to Revit, you'll see here, save your Revit project to keep the link with twin motion. <laughs> Pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and keep showing this to let you know when this pops up and why. And I'm gonna hit OK. And so now I'm back in Revit. I can do whatever I want. I'm not gonna make a ton of changes, but let's go into the level two plan. And maybe I want this window to also appear over here. So I'll create similar and let's go ahead and make it maybe 12 feet apart. That seems to make a lot of sense. There we go. So my window's there. And looking back in 3D, I can clearly see there's my new window. It was not there before. And so how do I get this into twin motion? Well, you can simply hit C in twin motion. That makes sense. So let's go ahead and click C in twin motion. And as soon as I do that, you can see there's my window right there. It made the change. That, that's perfect. And let's go back to Revit once again. In Revit now, I can see... Again, I see save your Revit project to keep the link with twin motion. Now, why does it keep telling me this? Well, it's telling me this because if I were to, at this point, now go into twin motion, make it all look pretty and save the twin motion file, but I, for some reason, I don't know why, if for some reason I do not save my Revit file, I would technically lose this window. It would not be there anymore. Okay, well, maybe that's not a big deal, and it, it wouldn't be until you get back into Twin Motion and realize, oh, that's there. And so, like you, in a way, you lose the link between that that specific window, that instance, and having that window appear in Twin Motion because it's it's in a way it's lost the link with that particular element. So one way you can get around that, and really the only way I guess, is Twin Motion wants you to save your file. So obviously, save your file, and I know you will. So once I save the file. I can go back to Twin Motion now, save that file, and I, I know that I'm on the same page. So I'm not saying to save your Revit file every time you're going to send something to Twin Motion, but obviously before you're done working, or before you close your Revit model, save your model. Now that's pretty obvious, it's self-explanatory, but still make sure you do that if you're constantly sending things to Twin Motion. 
So maybe at this point, we decide, no, I don't want this window. I can get rid of that window, click C in Twin Motion, and once again, that window is now gone. It's, it's immediate, and it's awesome that it works that way. It's really that simple. And this can be taken as far as you want. I mean, so let, let's, let's take this one step farther. I will now go back into Revit. And again, I get this, I'm gonna actually do not remind me this time. And I'm gonna take this a step farther and get a little crazy with this, just to show you that this can be as crazy as you want it to be. And you can make as many changes as you need to be. So I'm gonna copy this entire house and just throw it in the middle of the water because that makes sense. So let's go ahead and throw it out there. I'm now gonna have a separate house, the same house, just copied all the elements over there, dumped it in the middle of the water. Great, I'm gonna get this subregion problem, whatever, doesn't matter, but now I've got the same model showing up twice. So you could, I'm doing this to show you that you could model as much as you want or as little as you want. You can start with as much as you want, as little as you want, and still send it back into twin motion, and it's gonna sync, it's gonna receive this new data, receive all the information, and <laughs> again, there's my house you know, floating off in, in the water. So again, it's really simple. And obviously maybe now I decide <laughs> I don't want that. So I just simply delete this. That's great. See in twin motion, as soon as this updates, boom, it's gone. It's that simple guys. That This is something that really makes twin motion awesome. That it's in a way always aligned with your Revit model to where you don't really need to worry about you know, what you have in one or the other because you can constantly keep them synced together. It is really that simple. One last thing I do want to cover is after closing the file, how you might want to reopen and all that because in a way this is, you know, uh, preserving the link because we want to preserve the link between our Revit model and our Twin Motion model. So all I need to do is save this. Again, I've got this already saved and maybe I close this. Okay, I'm back in Revit now and Let's go ahead and make another change. So I'll go into level two. Let's put this window back, all that. Put this in a new location. Perfect, that works right there. And maybe let's go ahead and put one more here, because why not? That makes sense. So we can, we can track these windows as we get back into twin motion. And now the thing to be aware of is that I have now closed twin motion and I've made some more modifications in Revit. So what do I need to do now? Well, clearly, let's see in Twin Motion. And once I do this, we will now have Twin Motion pop up, and it's going to ask me, "Is this a new project or is it an existing project?" Well, <laughs> we've already made this project, we've saved it, and so you can always make another project. But why would we do that? I'm going to choose an existing project because I'm working with the same Revit model. I'll hit OK, and it's going to prompt me to open that specific model it's just asking where it is so there's my direct link twin motion file I'll hit open and as soon as I hit existing project it's gonna open my project as an existing project because that's what it is but the nice part is it actually took those new windows with it so not only now have I opened my existing project but I have sent all that new information model information from Revit into twin motion I will say, I have had some crashes when I've tried to reopen pro existing projects and trying to send new model information all at once. It's just, it might happen. I, you know, save your project before anything, try it again. It, it, does, it does eventually work, just so you know. But that will do it for the direct link because honestly, there's not a lot to it. It's pretty simple. Just make sure you're saving your Revit project, saving your, your twin motion project. If you're doing that and assuming you're doing that, you're pretty dandy because, you know, it is what it is. It's basically taking everything from Revit, dumping it into Twin Motion, keeping them together and keeping them synced. It works out pretty easily. If you did learn something in this video, please demolish that like button. Also consider changing the phase of that subscribe button to existing. That also really helps me out a lot. Hope everyone's staying safe out there. Hope you also stick around for the next video. Lots more Twin Motion videos coming out in the very near future. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.